Hello, this is George with uh, Loan Savers Direct. I am making this video because a lot of time uh, they, my clients hear from the real estate agents that we have to remove contingencies, so we need to sign off on these contingencies. And they will sit and, uh, sit and wonder and call me and ask me, what are the contingencies? What contingencies mean? What, what are they? So I wanted to clear that for my clients and for everyone who is not sure or he hasn't been in a real estate transaction and want to understand what are the contingencies. Contingencies are things to be done in a transaction in a timely manner to stay within contract. So it's done. it has to be done. Things has to be done within the time frame that the contract set uh, either uh, uh, regularly or uh, the, or somebody modified the contract and changed the time frame but regardless you have to stay within the time frame of the contingency uh, ex and I'm given here some examples example um, uh, the buyer the seller let's say the buyer put an offer on a property the seller have to respond within three days, within 72 hours. That's a contingency on the seller. Then the seller, let's say if the seller accepted the offer, the buyer has to bring in to the money to escrow within 72 hours, otherwise the contract is null, will not exist. And same thing with the earnest money with the escrow deposit, uh, the appraisal has to be ordered and has to be delivered and completed within 17 days of offer being accepted. Loan approval has to be within 21 days. Property inspection, it's basically set uh, ma manually. Uh, there is no standard for it. It's set, but it has to, it's a contingency that has to be uh, signed off and etc. These are the things that we call them contingencies and a lot of time the seller want to clear all the contingencies to make sure that if something happened in the transaction the escrow the deposit as an escrow the seller will take it if this if everything is signed off on the contingencies now the seller is entitled of three percent of the purchase price or the sale price if the transaction didn't go through. Uh, the, this is the explanation of what contingencies are and an idea of what are the contingencies. Uh, if you have any question, feel free to give me a call. Here is my number. If you want a real estate agent that know what I know, uh, 10 times more and excellent one, give me a call. I work with the best and you'll be more than satisfied. I will refer you to work with the best. Have a good day.